Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Gillis de la Tourette syndrome. Gillis de la was a French physician. He first described this disease, so it is the Gillis de la Tourette syndrome. What is this syndrome? This is a neurological disorder characterized by chronic, typically lifelong, motor and verbal tics. What are the tics? Sudden, brief, intermittent movements or sound. These are involuntary. The exact cause is not known. Possible disturbance in the basal ganglia. Basal ganglia are the gray matter inside the brain, inside the white matter of the brain like the quadrate nucleus, lentiform nucleus, putum and globus pallidus, clostrum. So the exact cause is not known, possible disturbance in the basal ganglia along with the neurotransmitter, dopamine and serotonin disturbances. Symptoms begin before the age of 18 with a course of remission and relapse. Most cases are sporadic, occasionally is family there is family history with autosomal dominant gene penetration males are affected more than female prevalence in the united states of america is about 0.05 percent okay okay so common motor tics are what this include the eye blinking. This all are involuntary. Head jerking, shrugging, sh the shoulder, hopping, bending or twisting, stepping in certain pattern. These are simple, common motor tics. These are complex motor tics involving multiple group of muscle. This involve only one group of muscle. We have common vocal tics are grunting, coughing, throating, barking. We have also coprolalia, vulgar or absence. Ecolalia, just mimicking the word of other people. E Ecoprexia, mimicking the activity of other people. Pelilalia, just uttering the same word repeatedly. So these are the tics. And what, what, what are the diagnostic criteria for the Tourette syndrome? Both motor tic and vocal tics are present. Tics occur several times a day, almost daily for a year. Tic begins before the age of 18. So these are the diagnostic criteria. These are the tics. So, what are the differential diagnoses? Wilson disease, Sydenham Korea, bubble head syndrome. Wilson disease, how can we differentiate? That is a problem of copper metabolism. There will be damage to the basal ganglia, specifically putamen, and we'll, we'll assess the blood copper level as well as the seroplasmin. And it is manageable very easily by giving the <coughs> Killing agent, and in this disease, there will be damage to the liver as well as to the brain, and also will get a ring around the sclerocorneal junction. We call it Kaiser Fleischer ring. This is Sydenham Korea. There may be history of tonsillitis or throat, streptococcal infection, rheumatic fever. Okay, and that is self-limiting after several months it will disappear without any treatment. Bubble head syndrome is found in children with increasing hydrocephalus. There will be bobbing of the head that may happen. So that is different from the Tourette syndrome. Possible associated disease, what happened? Like that of the obsessive compulsive disorder, attention, Deficit hyperactivity disorder, 
autism spectrum disorder, learning disorder, and there may be depression. And there is lack of executive function, social isolation. Okay. So, what is the treatment for Gillis de la Tourette syndrome? Treatment is always supportive, there is no cure, it is a lifelong problem. But as the age advances, symptom usually decreases. Treatment, supportive treatment, and health education, health education to the patient, health education to the caregiver, health education to the close friends, relatives, as well as the caregiver. And we have the medication, haloperidol, the antipsychotic drug that work very good, phenothiazin, okay. Clonidine, that is a central acting alpha agonist, okay. So, these are the drugs commonly used. You can use also the Botox injection, some physician like the Botox injection. This should be prescribed by a licensed registered physician, maybe a neurologist, maybe a psychiatrist. We also need behavioral therapy for the patient psychotherapy and if the tick is uncontrollable there may be deep brain stimulation therapy that may be appropriate okay so if we look at that the association of the towers and tick disorder we have sometimes this person has more chance to get attention deficit hyperactivity disorder obsessive compulsive disorder, depression, may have other problems also. And this boy has this tick, okay. So this is involuntary, this happened regular basis for a year, then we call it Tourette syndrome. The exact cause is not known, maybe there may be some defect in the basal ganglia and the serotonin and the dopamine neurotransmitter system. Okay, it may be autosomal dominant running the families, it is possible. Mostly it is sporadic. And that's all about the Tourette syndrome. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.